Yeah, no, hi. We are in Switzerland. And I was searching for stuff for just looking around. And I found that one. Hogant. Started to watch the pictures. Yeah, nice. Basic Swiss mountain scenery. Sun is shining, of course. <laughs> they can afford it. You can see really nice deposits and layers and all kinds of things. And interesting stones. Especially here. This catched my eye. Because many people claim that cup stones, they are basically known worldwide, that they have been human made, that they have been sacrificial stones, they were carved into the stones in order to grind whatever harvest they had or make sacrifices and all these kind of things. I argue that these are craters which are basically electromagnetic in nature, a lightning bolt. And it would be really interesting to go there and check them out a little bit close because they seem to be dark in the middle. So it would be really interesting to figure out how deep they are. And we have this kind of similar shaped forms also here. And here's probably one more. And if you watch around there, it's on top of a hill. So, what would be the reason for anyone to go up there and make this kind of carvings into stone and then bring all the uh, what they earn on the fields on top of a mountain and then grind it and bring it back to the valley or it doesn't somehow make too much sense but if you would think about that this would be an electrical discharge it would be quite possible since we are on top of a mountain and I think that's a really interesting. If there's anybody living near there, probably now it's snowy, but <laughs> if you make it in summer, if you could take a picture from me from those, measure them, it would be interesting. Yeah, I don't show any Wikipedia or any articles. No, I just wanted to share you with you those few holes in a stone which seem to be really natural in origin since there is no distinctive pattern or whatever to those i mean geometrical patterns or these kind of things which would you what, what you would expect from human doings there would be probably some kind of line or whatever and it's also really hard to imagine a glacier doing this like really hard but i leave it here a nice little rock on top of a big rock surrounded by bigger rocks the alps something thanks